In our final section of this course, you are going to learn how to communicate with confidence. And boy, wouldn't that be great if there just were a magic bullet to make that happen. I really dislike the expression to just be confident. It doesn't work that way. We do it through lots and lots of different methods and exercises. Here are a few of the more internal mental exercises that I've used with many, many of my presenters that I think really can make an impact on them. And I believe they can make an impact on you as well. So nothing helps us more than just presenting over time, putting yourself out there time and time again. You're going to live and you're going to learn from what worked and what didn't work. But here are a few other things that you can do starting today that are going to really help you feel more confident when you put yourself out there for an online speech, when you put yourself out there in the world, in any public setting. So let's look at these. First thing up is to quiet your inner critic. And your inner critic is that part of yourself that gets so critical and nitpicky about every little thing you do. And it doesn't let you off the hook. And it's grouchy and it's negative. And it's probably one of the meanest things that you could ever be to yourself. And what I always like to ask people I work with is, would you ever say these things to someone else you cared about? Would you ever say this to a friend or to a loved one? And and usually we all say no, but why would we ever say these things to ourselves? So keeping our inner critic in check is really important. And for public speaking, it can flare up. So by actually training on a day-to-day basis to keep it a little more at bay will help you when you're in the spotlight, on the spot, giving your speech. And I like to offset our inner critic by having a positive outlook. So by having a vision and having an outcome of what's gonna happen, it's going to really help ourselves. In fact, I even know people that have, you know, a, a fun music playlist. They have a ritual. They light a candle. But anything that can help you kind of raise your positive feeling is going to really translate when you start your presentation. And then saying a positive mantra, as cliche as it sounds, they really do work. They're scientifically proven to work. And just saying something for yourself, either aloud or in your head, that is short and sweet as you're preparing for this, as you're doing it, will will help remind you uh, to say positive things rather than slipping back into that inner critic. And remember to befriend your audience because They are rooting for you. They want you to be good. They want you to be interesting. They want you to share the good stuff. They're not out there to, you know, tear you down. So by trusting them that they're looking out for you will create a really nice relationship with them. And finally, I've said this earlier in the course, be perfectly you. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for you to be perfectly yourself. And that's so important to remember. So reviewing your confidence communications, quieting your inner critic, having a positive outlook, saying a positive mantra, befriending your audience, and being perfectly you are really going to help you to make a great difference. And I want to thank you one final time for joining me in this course. Um, I hope that my bobblehead self has given you some useful strategies and tips. And I more importantly hope that you really applied this training because it works if you do it. If you see it through, I've seen it time and time again work and it can absolutely work for you. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure coaching you. Get out there and present your best self. I'm rooting for you.